the order that an energy manager should be approaching their energy management opportunities is much like our conservation triangle. And if we remember our conservation triangle, oops, <laughs> I can't, I can't write on the screen. Conservation triangle, uh, we had, um, we had conservation at the bottom. So we wouldn't go and put solar panels on a facility, for example, if we were wasting energy in electricity at the bottom. So our conservation triangle said we need to conserve first. So it's just like that in industrial energy management opportunities as well, is that you're not going to go down to the bottom here and change equipment, buy newer versions, etc. We're not going to change these things. We're not going to spend the capital unless we have already done the first three steps. We have eliminated processes where we don't have to be doing it. We've combined and we've improved. So for example, we are not going to um, buy a new um, boiler if we haven't improved how the energy is used in the process. For example, we haven't improved um, the, uh, the building envelope, for example. OK, if we have not eliminated things that are not necessary. So uh, let's say there are some processes where uh, you are doing some cooling. Um, but do you have to cool? Uh, so are we still are we still putting paint in a paint oven, but it's a newer type of paint that you don't that will air dry and we don't need a paint oven anymore, for example. So can we eliminate some processes? Can we combine some? So for example, uh, are we machining and then moving a, a, an engine block over and then boring that same borehole? Can we machine and then bring another, another um, tool down to bore without moving it across, right? Um, can we, can we um, put jigs and fixtures together? Um, can we... Um, can we reduce our material handling requirements um, by combining processes together? So look at our process improvement. Often our process improvements that we would do to increase three, throughput are also going to increase energy. Uh, now, do we can we improve our processes? Are we working at the uh, maximum power point of our uh, all of our electric machines? Are we operating combustion um, where we reduce the excess air? Are we, uh, do we have our lighting optimized? Are we ensuring that our building envelope has minimum uh, heating and cooling uh, losses? So have we reduced our heating load and our cooling load? So we would do all of these things before we make uh, a capital equipment change. Changing equipment is very expensive uh, and time consuming, labor intensive. Yes, we can gain lots of great efficiency and energy savings and we can make a business case for those changes. You can make an even better business case if you use your experience to figure out how to eliminate, combine and improve before making capital equipment changes in an industrial energy management um, job.